Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or for those of you who are new, welcome! My name is Amy and look, I'll be the first to say that if you're looking for the whole that girl aesthetic, you're not gonna find it on this channel. But I am working on changing my entire life and taking you guys along for the journey. Recently, I made a video sharing some of my favorite sustainable swaps for non-perfect people, because I am a non-perfect person. And in that video, I talked about how making small changes to your diet can have an impact on the planet too. And a shout out to Janet who commented on that video and asked if I would make a what I eat in a week video so you guys can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And now here we are. Ah, making that video. I know you're all probably used to seeing those really aesthetically pleasing what I eat in a week videos with the perfect acai bowls and the green smoothies and the lemon water. You're not gonna find that here. This is just me doing my best. Before we go a second further into this video though, I do have a really important disclaimer. The purpose of me making this video is to show you how easy it can be to live on a vegetarian diet and make small changes here and there to be more plant-based and rely less heavily on animal products. But what I really don't want you to do is take this as any kind of meal plan. Because firstly, I'm not a qualified dietitian. I don't even have one of those like Groupon certificates, you know, that says like you did an online nutrition course. I know nothing. Secondly, as a lot of you know, my health has not been the best recently and so I've had to make quite a few alterations to my diet. You will probably notice through watching this that I'm eating a lot less calories than I have in the past, but that is under the supervision of my doctor who knows my health status at the moment and that has been cleared with a professional. And thirdly, kind of bouncing off the back of that, I didn't include any of my snacks in this video because I just forgot to film them. But I snack a lot. So even though you might be seeing this thinking, oh my gosh, she barely eats anything, that's not true. Trust me, I'm like grazing all day long. All that to say, please don't use this as any kind of guide on how to eat because I don't know. I don't know how you should eat. I don't know how I should eat. And as you will see throughout the course of this video, I'm also not a particularly good cook. But here we are. Enjoy the video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Today is grocery buying day. I used to meal plan and meal prep very strictly and strategically. I don't really do that anymore, but I do still write down all the meals that I want to make throughout the week so I can make sure I've got all the ingredients and that I'm not buying in stuff that I'm not going to use because obviously that's wasteful. Today has been a beautiful day and seasonably warm for the UK at this time of year, so of course we had a barbecue. I had a Beyond Burger. They are some of the priciest like meat alternative burgers that you can get but I very rarely buy that kind of thing so I don't mind splurging every now and again and of course I had to have all the extras. Gotta have the lettuce, gotta have the vegan cheese. I forgot to order the cheese slices but I had grated cheese on hand, vegan mayo and of course the key ingredient avocado. I just had that with a salad and it was extremely filling. A little while later I grabbed myself a handful of mini eggs because it is Easter weekend and I've had a couple of white claws. Don't know if it shows. <laughs> My absolute favorite thing to eat for breakfast at the moment is a protein bagel. So I take half an avocado and I mash that up and then I add about 15 grams of firm tofu. I just crumble it right into the bowl and then I squeeze in about half a lemon. Then I put in a little bit of nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt, and then you gotta mash it all up. And I know a lot of people are really grossed out by tofu, but it has no taste. It's just gonna take on the taste of all the other things, but it's gonna also add protein into that breakfast as well, which is great. Then I just add some seeds on top, and you're about to see why I don't make food videos. There we go. But luckily they landed right side up so you could still eat them. <laughs> yeah. So this was my lunch on Sunday, and to be completely honest with you, I don't even know what I was trying to achieve here. 10 out of 10 wouldn't recommend, it was disgusting. I don't even know what it was. So I'm just making dinner. I decided that I'm gonna have salad because I'm just a 
weirdly healthy mood today. I'm just gonna be using some of the leftover salad from yesterday for the barbecue, and then I'm gonna put in some roasted sweet potato that I tossed in some spices and a little bit of garlic. Then I'm also gonna put in some chickpeas because I just love chickpeas, and a little bit of couscous just to make it more filling. Oh my gosh, I forgot the most important part, lemon and tahini, because that's what makes it yummy. breakfast was more protein bagels but this time I was lazy so I just put on some dairy free spread. Okay so this Monday was Easter Monday so it was a bank holiday and my mom had everyone over for Sunday dinner even though it was a Monday. If you're British you'll understand. One thing I will say that I hate ever since I've become vegetarian is a Sunday dinner. You can get vegetarian friendly Sunday dinners I'm just not a fan. And when my mom makes me a vegetarian Sunday dinner, it's just a plate of vegetables. <laughs> Very tasty vegetables, but a plate of vegetables nonetheless. to go out on a bit of an adventure because me and my friend Haley are going to Wagamama this evening for dinner. I haven't been to Wagamama since probably 2013 so I haven't ever had anything vegetarian at Wagamama before. I have no concept of what their vegetarian offering is like. Oh, we're gonna be experiencing this together for the very first time. <laughs> So they actually had plenty of vegetarian and vegan options on the menu. So I had the vegan pad thai and then Haley had the vegan ramen noodle thing. But there were plenty of options for vegetarian dishes and vegan dishes and even like with the pad thai it was very easy for me to leave out the egg so that was great but I didn't rate my meal. I don't know it was just kind of bland. And maybe it's just me because I had the best pad thai ever in my life when I was in Thailand and nothing will ever live up to that. But I was kind of disappointed with my meal. So yeah, there are a lot of options. I personally wouldn't rush back there, but if you enjoy Wagamama, then good to know that there are veggie options there available for you. Okay, here is rare footage of me eating something other than a protein bagel for breakfast. This morning has been crazy busy. It's been one of those days where I feel like I haven't stopped at all and I've still achieved nothing. It's great, but now I am gonna take a break and have some lunch. So I just reheated some of that vegetable mix from the other day to throw into another wrap. And I added a few chickpeas as well, just to bulk it out and give it a little bit of protein because I am super aware that I've not been getting enough protein recently. I just don't have time right now to whip up anything more substantial, but this looks good. It's time for dinner and I'm going to make myself this amazing hummus pasta that I have been obsessing over recently. I don't remember whether I saw it on TikTok or Instagram, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna link the original post down below so you can go and check that out. first ever attempt at making a smoothie bowl. I don't think it looked great, but I mean it tasted fine, so I keep seeing these girls on TikTok with their perfect smoothie bowls and they always look so delicious and then mine was like a weird cold pulp. I'm gonna keep trying. Way number 608 to eat a protein bagel is to put avocado and mushrooms on it. I like to cook my mushrooms in a little bit of apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, and salt. It's delicious, just trust me.
Easter is such a curse. All I want to do is eat chocolate and no actual food. Also, as you can probably tell, like I'm not feeling it today. It's already lunchtime. I, I am dressed under here, but it's cold. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just not in the mood. Don't know what I'm going to make because I really just can't be bothered. Okay, we have a winner. I'm going to try this soup. I do try to cook from scratch with fresh vegetables as often as I can, but I also just... just I don't know, there's an excuse there that I'm trying to find, but I don't think it's valid. I'm lazy, that's all. So I do like to keep some things like this in the house for days like today when if I didn't have access to a pre-made soup, I would probably just eat an entire Easter egg instead. So there's balance there. I love these bowl soups. I will eat like the entire thing in one go, but I haven't tried this one. This is the protein boosting power soup made with jackfruit. I don't really like jackfruit, but I keep trying to make myself like jackfruit. Why? I don't know. So hopefully this one is going to be good. It says it has 14 grams of protein. Yes, let's try it. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. Okay. It's trying to be an alternative to chicken soup. So like super high protein, savory. I don't dislike it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. They do this one, like it's like a dal soup thing. I don't remember what it's called, but that one is better than this one, but this is still good. These are amazing, by the way. Tenzing energy drinks. You can get them from Holland and Barrett. I have absolutely no idea if they are healthier than like a Red Bull, but they taste better to me and I mean the marketing is pretty good. It makes you think that it's healthy. I don't know if that's true. So I was in the queue at TK Maxx the other day and I saw these vegan protein cookies and I just thought I need to buy those and I don't know why because Logically, I know that they're going to taste like cardboard. I just, I can feel it. Can you feel it? But I don't know. It was one of those like random purchases that you make in the queue at TK Maxx. So now let's see. Okay, this explains why it's 120 calories for four because one cookie is this size. I don't even think there's any chocolate chips in this one. I'm confused. Okay, actually it tastes quite good, but the texture was nothing like I was expecting. Like when you look at the box and even when you look at the cookies, they look like they're gonna be really crunchy, like Maryland cookies. They're really soggy. I thought this might be a fun way to get in more protein. Um, I don't know what to feel about it, honestly. <laughs> this is me just reheating some of that leftover hummus pasta. Oh my gosh, I love leftovers. And then on Friday, I just had toast for breakfast with more of that dairy-free spread. I do try and make my breakfast a little bit more substantial, like with the avocado mushroom bagel and the protein bagel. I do try every once in a while, but I just hate the morning. I'm not productive. I'm not awake. I'm really not ready to eat anything heavy. So for me, a very simple breakfast like toast works most of the time. Okay, it's coming up to lunchtime and I'm gonna make myself a huge batch of vegetable soup because that way I can freeze some of it. I can put a bunch of it in the fridge. I can keep going back to it. I love to batch cook meals, um, especially because I usually only cook for myself because I'm the only vegetarian in the house. Um, it's just so much easier for me to cook something big, like a pasta bake or a big soup and just have a bunch of it on hand. I don't really meal prep per se anymore. I used to do that and my life was actually so much easier when I did that. But I don't do it anymore for whatever reason. But I do try to make these big batch meals throughout the week and then freeze some of them so that on days when I don't have time to cook, I can go back to them. I just stuck a bunch of vegetables in there with the mixed bean salad, the tinned lentils, two tins of chopped tomatoes. I put in some dried lentils as well, just a quarter cup because why the heck not? Two veggie stock cubes and some salt and pepper. And yeah, the rest is just a bunch of vegetables. This is a great thing to make when you're busy. I know that obviously chopping up all the vegetables takes time, but there's minimal washing up involved afterwards because it's just one pot and like obviously like the cutting board, the knife, but you don't have to use like multiple pans and that kind of thing. And it makes so much soup. How 
over that week was I. Like you could tell I was just done. This is my dinner, a 30 second clip of some food that I'm just gonna throw into the oven and I'm not even gonna talk about it because I'm done. It was a really long week actually. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm just in one of those moods where I'm just exhausted, I can't be bothered, I just don't want to cook at all, I will fall back on things like potato waffles, vegan chicken nuggets, those I'm um, corn in this clip I was eating these corn raw sums which are definitely for children but they're like turkey dinosaurs but corn. It's like all my childhood dreams came true as a 30 year old woman and I love it. Yes it is great to get in highly nutritious meals, to cook things from scratch, to use fresh fruits and vegetables and all that other stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of making big batches of stuff. That way I know I have access to good quality food even when I don't have the time or energy or patience to cook. But I also know that there are times when I just want to have the junk food and that's fine too. I hope this video has helped to show you how easy it can be to come up with a variety of meals without relying on meat and how easy it is to make switches to things that don't contain animal products. Vegan cheese, vegan mayo, vegan butter, oat milk instead of dairy milk, all of these are really easy changes you can make and you might need to experiment a little bit, like it took me a while to find a vegan cheese I liked, it took me a little while to find out which dairy free milk I enjoyed best, but those are all really easy changes that you can make. And like I said at the start, this doesn't need to be an all or nothing approach. If you're looking to move towards more of a plant based diet, I think that's awesome. But I don't like this idea that it's like either you're vegan or you're a carnivore and that's it. There's an in-between, there's a balance there and if that works better for you, that's fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know and if you haven't subscribed already, why the heck not? We get together twice a week here to discuss all things personal development, intentional living and dream chasing. So if that sounds like your kind of thing then why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that I love you all so much, you are enough just as you are and I will see you all soon. Bye guys! Oh, 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 oh,